Hello, this is Drew the Driver with Right Into Cash. I just wanted to show you guys some of the issues that chargers will encounter when they go out in the field to pick up uh, scooters to be charged at home. So today I went out and I found quite a few scooters. This is my nice stack of them all charging. That's a six right there, an extra one there. And these are all completed. This is uh, another six, uh, eight. These are all these are all um, charged already. And then over here are some limes, uh, six limes. They're all pretty much charged up. And uh, while I was out looking, I encountered one that was pretty severely damaged. So this is a bird scooter, and. Uh, the lights aren't on right there, which means it's not registering the charge. It's not showing what it's charged up to. So in the app, it's only going to have the battery level that I picked it up at, even though it's fully charged and won't show. So the way to fix that is something that a mechanic is supposed to do. They'll go into the, the brain right here. They uh, unscrew six b screws from below and then undo the four on the control module underneath and then they pull it out and stick a cable just like this which is a standard USB and they plug that in and then it basically jump starts it gives it a little jolt of power and then you click the reset button which will then bring it back to working condition. I would actually just do it myself, even though right now I'm not a mechanic. I would do it, but the, the screwdriver I'm using right now, for some reason, it just won't work with it. Um, unfortunately, that means I probably won't get paid out on this, even though I fully charge it, which kind of sucks. I will. I guess I can attempt to email them and see if they can uh, force pay. Uh, I know it's only five bucks, but every, every dollar counts. So yeah, so this scooter, like I was saying, it's pretty messed up. It, uh, if you look over here, the brake basically completely comes undone. And uh, that's because, over down here, let's see if we got this. Uh, the whole braking system, whoop, okay, well that cable just broke. So, the whole thing's messed up. This whole scooter right here, uh, the fender's missing, which means there's no light. The uh, brake system right here is all bent to shit, and the cable's broken off. Uh, also, it seems as if they kind of just took all the cables out and ripped it up, and that's probably also registering why it's, it won't register any power. Uh, so this one's totally messed up. It's totally effed basically. Uh, so when I drop it off, I'm going to mark it as, I've already marked it as damaged, which is a pretty simple process within the app. Uh, you, you see, let me pull my phone out. So you go to the bird app. Bird, this is to find them. Then you go to your list. Looks like that. And then you go to, I already marked it. Okay, so when you mark one damaged, this it turns orange. That's that one right there. And so that one right, that's where it's actually not even registering where it's at now. It just shows where I picked it up. And then you move up. And then you, there's a button that says mark damage, which gives you an option of writing a note and then mark what it is wrong with it. So I've already done all that. That's already completed. This one's been marked damage, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll still get paid on it even though it's not going to show that it's charged. Now I encountered another scooter, which this one's by far one of the most damaged scooters I've seen. So this bird, luckily the it's registering a charge, so I will get paid on it. Um, it actually looks as if... So this blue tag right here means it already went to the shop. So someone must have taken it out of the storage and then dropped it out. 
even though it's totally messed up. Okay, so get ready for this. This wheel is completely bent to shit. Can't even barely move it. it it's pretty ridiculous how damaged it is. It must have been an accident, some severe accident. The back tire is totally ripped and tore, and the brake brakes are all messed up. Yeah, this one's completely decommissioned, and it's crazy to see it damaged like this. Funny story, actually. I was looking for this one, and I was driving around a road, and I thought it was on it, but then it turns out it was on down this big hill by a major road, so I kind of had to jog down the hill a little bit, and then uh, I picked it up, which was sweet, and then I ran back up the hill. Um, but yeah, this one is completely damaged. Not gonna be usable. And actually, when I do drop them off, when they're like this, uh, I will put a piece of tape on top that says uh, not usable, and it's marked damaged, so hopefully, a uh, mechanic picks it up before uh, someone tries to use it. Obviously, no one's going to try to use this one. So, that makes it simple. Uh, I've also encountered another one uh, where it appears as if someone's uh, put some tape around this to hold it in place. Like maybe uh, it's not secure without the tape. And uh, it seems as if the... Let me see. You see this cable right here? This is the wiring that goes from the light to this. Uh, I won't be able to show you it. There's this little plug in the inside. Actually, I could show you it from right here. Okay, so. See this little. Let me see. This little cable right here? That is what powers the light. And. Uh, yeah, this one's pretty damaged. And what's also frustrating is this one, someone covered it and then there's no there's no um, number on it. So it's I have to scan it. And uh, yeah, that's annoying. Sometimes I need to know that number, obviously. And let me think. Yeah, that's a, that's a little recap of all of these scooters that I have, I picked up today. Pretty good amount of them. I think the total between all of them is about $145, which is pretty sweet for a couple hours of work. Now it is pretty late, it's like uh, three in the morning right now, so they're charging up. For me, I basically work early evening through early morning, and I like the schedule, so it works well for me, but not even, well less, well under six hours, to get all of these and and on and off sporadically, not like one consistent flow of I'm searching and searching and searching. I'm spending like an hour here, an hour there, just like on and off. Uh, and it'll probably take me about an hour and a half to drop them off in the morning because there's quite a few of them. Luckily, I have a small truck where I can just squeeze all of them in there because this is what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. I got 21 scooters here, and I, my truck can fit about 22, so it's perfect. So yeah, I'll take these in, the, in a, um, for birds, they have to be dropped off after 4 a.m., uh, and ideally before 7 or 8 in the morning. Uh, the, the limes, I think you can drop them off a little earlier, like 3 a.m., but it's probably best to do it a little after, like 4, uh, and... I try to do it really early so that I can make sure I get a nest and a, and an assigned hub so that I don't have to go further out of my area. Luckily, I live by like not even half a mile away from, from a good spo a couple spots to put them. So I also wanted to talk about one thing. I really, really am not a fan of the new birds that just came out. They're made by the Segway company. They're the, they look like these. They, I love that it has this charge amount, the, the number for the charge, but the way they feel, it's like cheap. The way they ride is like also not so great. And the scanner is a much smaller tag, so it's harder to scan it. And it's like, it's a, the way it's angled, it takes double the time to scan 
these new ones than an older one. So that's a pain. Uh, and when you're out in the dark uh, at night scanning these things and you're just flashing a light, it just looks weird. I don't like it, but um, they do seem to charge faster. So maybe they don't have as long of a battery life or something, but I don't know. Oh, another thing, I really, really wish Lime S, the scooters, would have a different system for when you when you uh, scan it, so that it doesn't do that, doo -doo 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 -doo, that really loud noise. It's a uh, really not the greatest thing to have happen at three in the morning or two in the morning out in the middle of in front of someone's house or or even when I want to gr grab a scooter that's like on someone's porch or on a driveway if I were to grab it and then move it it'll start screaming please pay for me otherwise I'll call the police which is frustrating and it's so loud that it wakes people up so I wish they would have some kind of system where it would well, at first, I wish it just flashed a light instead of made that loud doo -doo -doo, when you're scanning it to collect it to charge because that would be much better for uh, people to have happen instead of make that loud noise. So, yeah, that's a little recap. Uh, overall, I found a, a pretty good amount of scooters. Um, it's a little crazy, the, one, the two or three that I found that are damaged. It seems like... Almost every day that I go out, I'm going to find two to three really, really messed up ones. So, people need to stop breaking them. Come on, guys. Like, you're going to make it something where it's not so profitable for them to do this. And that's not cool because everyone likes to ride these scooters. So, just stop if you're a vandalizer and uh, be safe out there. Have a great day. Bye.